I was born here in the Galapagos Islands, and the life gave me the chance to experience El Nino events. I've experienced two of them. One was in 1982-83. All the population of animals that depend on the ocean conditions came very, very low. Probably before 1982-83, we got about 50,000 sea lions here in Galapagos. And after that El Nino, we got probably the half, probably 20, 25,000. The other strongest El Nino I experienced as a guy walking here, even in the place we are now, Fernandina Island, was 1997-98. Now you see that all these population of iguanas looks very, very healthy. In that year, many of them were dying. They had nothing to eat. They were just very, very skinny. From 1997 till 2015, this year, we have seen how the population of iguanas are being recovered, little by little, not till the point what we used to have. But now you can see that it's a very healthy population. For me, it has been very interesting just to see this, you know, all these changes, how El Nino, you know, affects very fragile ecosystems like the Galapagos Islands.